Say what you want about Clowney, he certainly is someone who helps his football team and really, I think, thought played well in the Cleveland scheme last year. Now, schemes can vary year to year or even week to week, so who knows if it'll be the exact same thing they ran last year. But regardless, I think my gut says, I think Clown is gonna really help this Cleveland Browns team. So let's start things off with something like this. Let's talk about the running game for a second. I mean, what Clowney does really well is like basically everything. Like he's a monster in basically all aspects of an edge rusher, except for racking up stacks, racking up sacks historically. That tends to be the one, the only area where you don't see like just him truly just take off, but he's still definitely uh, can get those as well. And it's more so about the other stuff that I think is really where he consistently has thrived at the NFL level. The way this play works, it is Clowney going up one-on-one -on -one against a tight end. And watch just how he's gonna be able to take advantage of this. As you see, he has a huge impact in just that potential hole just getting completely clogged up. Again, favorable matchup, going up against a tight end, all that good stuff. But what are you supposed to do in those favorable matchups? You're supposed to find a way to still impact the play, and that's what Clowney was able to do on a play like that. So quick example, but something that he can do well. I also think something like this is where he truly thrives. This is kind of, these weird plays are really where he's at his best quite frankly, are things like this, where the way this play works, don't see uh, too many, you know, old veteran quarterbacks doing this, but you will still do it from time to time. It's just a, a, a bootleg right here, where you're going to uh, run the play action to the left side of the screen. You have Roethlisberger roll out to the right side of the screen. So the only guy who's blocking Clowney is going to once again be a tight end. But it's worth mentioning here that it's not like a straight up block because because of the play action, you expect Clowney to kind of naturally take a step to the left side of the screen. So to Clowney's right, because if he does that, then basically what's going to happen is that when Roethlisberger runs outside the pocket, there could be nobody there. And these plays can work like you don't even have to run these plays with a tight end blocking if you don't want to and right when this play begins you see how Clowney kind of gets to the inside a little bit this is what you are okay with happening you know if you're a tight end you're saying yeah if I lose this way it is what it is I, I can live with that that's typically how you view this stuff but watch how Clowney is able to absorb that contact doesn't really get hit at all and then just honestly kind of got held a little and still delivers a hit to Roethlisberger doesn't get the sack there but just like those kind of things like it makes you just not want to run bootlegs towards Clowney you know uh and especially with Miles Garrett on the other side with the Cleveland Browns it's like what do you do there so that's just kind of one of those things that Clowney can do is he can force you to kind of not want to run these types of plays on that side of the field you also have something like this this is kind of something that I feel like is is better that I've seen from Clowney because I've been someone who was critical of Clowney more critical than most were I think people have come around on my point now where which was uh I don't know if he he's going to ever be a, a 15 sack guy you look at his career numbers and he actually has never had 10 sacks in a season although he has come very close uh nine and a half in 2017 uh nine in 2018 and then also nine this past season but I also think he's done a much better job at being a complete pass rusher this past season this to me I feel like I've seen him improve actually and one of the things i think this is a good example of one of the things that i've always kind of uh complained about Clowney to some degree is i've compared him to like a bowl where he can run very fast in a one direction and if you're in that direction you better look out but when it comes to then having to change directions and kind of the, the hip movement and the you know knees that's kind of where he hasn't been quite as good he's not quite as shifty as some of these other pass rushers say like a, a tj watt you know these elite guys they tend to be able to be shifty on top of that which Garrett doesn't quite have or excuse me uh Garrett has it uh Clowney doesn't quite have it as much however you see right here so what's going to happen is Clowney's going to try to pull off a, a move that isn't just a bull rush he's going to try and see if he can uh pull off looks like sort of like a slight move typically you do this towards the outside Clowney's doing it towards the inside here but look at how he does pull it off and he's going to get an immediate pressure in an, and an immediate sack on Ben Roethlisberger right there that's a great play and if he can just start to get decent at that maybe he could come that become that 15 sack guy that everyone thought he would be coming out of college and that's uh p potentially something that could happen or m maybe not but you at least have someone who can you know probably won't be a three sack guy like he was uh in the years past he probably can at least consistently give you uh eight or nine sacks and a decent amount of pressures which obviously those tend to be to what what carries over year in and year out more so now looking over at a play like this i have to be honest like 
we still do see Clowney get a decent amount of sacks. A decent chunk of his sacks come from kind of weird plays, which that's kind of always been Clowney's thing a little bit, is that the, his sacks tend to rarely be him just like beating a tackle straight up like the play I just showed you. There's oftentimes a lot of stuff like this where he's going up one-on-one -on -one against a tight end right here, and you're going to see that this is going to be a play action. And you see how Clowney is able to kind of use his length uh, against his tight end to get some pretty good space. Also, quarterback maybe taking a bit too far of a drop back here on this play action. So Clowney is going to be able to get there pretty quickly. Two tight ends collide with each other. Clowney runs over and with the pump fake, he knocks the football out and, uh, you know, recovers it before dropping it himself. So that's kind of one of those weird plays where on one hand, you could sit here and say, all right, how often is a situation like that really going to occur? And I think that's fair. But at the same time, it is going to occur sometimes, and it's good to have, have a guy like Clowney who can take advantage of it when it does occur. So there's two ways to look at it. As for me, the way I personally look at it, I kind of feel like, hey, uh, it's, it's valuable. Like there's added value in him being able to do that kind of stuff where he can own these favorable matchups. You are still going to get some favorable matchups, even if you're a talented edge rusher who gets extra attention. So being able to own those, man, yeah, there's value there. Like this one's another one where he's going up one-on-one. -on -one. It's a one-on-one -on -one matchup against the right tackle. As you see, he is going to get blocked behind Lamar, or excuse me, not Lamar. This is actually Tyler Huntley uh, who is getting blocked behind right here. Uh, and so typically you think, okay, well, this is a, a win, right? For the right tackle, you successfully took Clowney out of the play. But watch what happens. Clowney keeps fighting. He's, you know, someone who has a high motor and he still ends up getting the sack right there. He does that. Clowney is someone who can find ways to get sacks even when he gets you know, blocked out of the way and things like that. He's a high motor player who will keep fighting and will eventually make something happen. So he screws up plays. Uh, he has a high motor. He will get sacks. And he's even starting to get more and more sacks by just beating tackles straight up, which is something that's been kind of a, a, a hindrance to him earlier on in his career. So as a whole, there's a lot of value of Clowney and he's definitely a valuable player. Listen, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I am just never a big fan of paying edge rushers big money. I just don't love doing that. Uh, I think that there's better ways to uh, spend your resources. However, if you're a real big fan of this channel and you watched when I sort of created my own team from scratch, I made it a game doing that, I actually signed Clowney for a one-year deal. So uh, I made kind of the same move that the Browns are making. And the reason for it was, hey, if you're sort of at this point in the offseason, there's not a ton of stars left. Don't just let the money, you know, sit on the counter. Use it. And Clowney's someone who can help your team. I think run defense matters a lot in the NFL. Probably, you know, I probably care more about that than uh, pass rush for an edge rusher. So for me, I like that. And also Clowney's pressure numbers have always been very good. His issue has always kind of been turning pressures into sacks, but I think he's still a valuable asset. He isn't a superstar. He isn't what we thought he would be when he got drafted first overall. All of that stuff is very fair. He's still a quality player, though, and I definitely think he's someone who's going to help Cleveland out a lot and could really propel them to the next uh, step. They have a fantastic team. Why not go out and just add another piece that could help you win a Super Bowl right now? Because let's be honest, this is a team that could win a Super Bowl right now, and adding Clowney is just getting themselves a little bit closer. So that's kind of what I think about this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.